second year of the Trump presidency, there's ongoing debate about how Trump won and why Clinton lost. This week, some of that blame is being heaped on former FBI Director James Comey. Former counsel to President Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton ally Lanny Davis makes the case in his new book, The Unmaking of the President 2016, How FBI Director James Comey Cost Hillary Clinton the Presidency. You are a Hillary Clinton supporter and ally, not a fan of Donald Trump, but you have said that there is one thing you and Donald Trump agree on. What is it? James Comey should have been fired for violating Justice Department rules. He doesn't get to decide when to follow Justice Department rules and when to violate them. It was a firing offense when he held a press conference and expressed his opinion on evidence in a criminal investigation. Although we did not find clear evidence that Secretary Clinton or her colleagues intended to violate laws governing the handling of classified information, there is evidence that they were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. James Comey holding a press conference, insubordinate to the Deputy Attorney General who he reported to, and then expressing a personal opinion on the evidence. Are you kidding me? He should have been fired on the spot. Excuse me, Mr. Comey, who asked for your opinion? Are you running for something? Are you worried about the Republicans in Congress? So though you didn't prosecute or recommend prosecution, you had to throw in extremely careless? Thank you. You're fired. You're fired. Why didn't Loretta Lynch do that? Why didn't Barack Obama do that? Good question. Even more critical, says Davis, was Comey's letter to Congress on October 28, 2016, announcing he was reopening the FBI probe into Hillary Clinton's classified email practices. That was after emails found on the computer of Anthony Weiner, who'd been arrested for sexting with a minor. Weiner was married to top Hillary aide Uma Abedin. You have said that then FBI Director Comey's misguided announcement swung a significant number of voters away from Clinton, winning Trump the presidency. What's the basic thesis? It's not a thesis. It's not an argument. It is a simple fact, like two plus two doesn't lead to an inference of four. Four is a fact. On the morning of October 28th, Hillary Clinton is ahead by 6% nationally. And from that morning to the afternoon when the letter went out, she plunged in the three states, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania, plunged like a rock in a pond and lost those three states by 0.7%, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, 0.7%, and 0.2% in Michigan. I proved that his letter alone cost her more than 1% in those three states. She wins those three states, she's president. Was Comey against, in your view, Hillary Clinton? What do you think is his motivation? I take the man's actions and his explanations as the statement having all the characteristics of an extreme narcissist. Somebody who says, I get to decide what's right and wrong, and it's all about me. That's a definition of a narcissist, but I don't uh, impute political bias. I impute very poor judgment governed by his narcissism, as we will see when he goes on his book tour. It's all about Jim Comey. Why do you think writing this book was necessary? As an historical fact, I thought it was important for the country to know how we got Donald Trump as president. But I feared writing this book because it sounds like I'm not admitting that Hillary Clinton made lots of mistakes that directly contributed to her defeat. Had she not had a private server, there would have been no FBI investigation, there would have been no Comey letter. We can do the dominoes. So two facts can be side by side true. Hillary Clinton made a lot of mistakes. Did Hillary Clinton sign off on the book or give you feedback? What's her view? She most certainly didn't sign off. I did visit her before I uh, thought about writing the book and told her about my findings in my deep dive into the internet data of all the polls. It was three days before the inauguration. I went to visit her because I was worried about how she was going to do on international television while Donald Trump was being sworn in. So I went to see her as an old friend. And then I went off on my data. And at that point, she said, what are you going to do with all that? And I said, I don't know. Somebody needs to write a book just for historical facts. not going to make you feel any better. And then she said, you should write that book. Is Hillary Clinton going to run for president again? Uh, my answer is I don't know. I don't think so. I sometimes wish she would. 
because she should have won in 2016, but for James Comey, she would have won, but in my data, but I don't know, and I, for her sake, hope uh, she doesn't. This week, our Scott Thuman had a chance to interview Comey and ask about Lanny Davis's claims that Comey is to blame for Hillary's loss. Uh, Mr. Comey, I want to start all the way back at that press conference you held regarding Hillary Clinton's email investigation. And uh, you have heard from your critics. They believe that you should have been fired right on the spot. Others blame you entirely for Hillary Clinton's loss. We can now project the winner of the presidential race. Donald Trump wins the presidency. Do you believe that you're at fault for her losing the election? I don't know. I sure hope not. I hope we had no impact whatsoever. I hated the fact the entire FBI team hated the fact we were involved at all. Every time we had to make a decision, we had to choose between bad and worse and tried to make our judgments in a responsible way. I think we did. 